Right you guys, got another video here for you on how to run an offline scan with Windows Defender in Windows 10. Now Microsoft have offered the uh, option of running uh, malware scans outside of the Windows operating system. So just as you boot up, you'll be able to run a scan with the Windows Defender. Now this can be useful because if there's any sort of running malware, it can have trouble running scans and stuff like that. So running it offline is a good way of removing those infections from the system. So let me show you how quick and easy it is to set up. What you need to do is go to the start button, then go to settings, then go to update and security. Once you click in here, we want to go up to the top left hand side here and click on Windows security. Once we're inside Windows security, we can then go over to the right and click on virus and threat protection. Open up this box here and then what we want to do here, once we're inside here, you should see an area where it says um, virus and threat protection on there. And then you should see uh, the scan options. So click on the scan options. And then you've got quick scan, full scan, and then you've got custom scan, then Windows Defender offline scan. That's what we're going to be doing here. Just make sure that you've backed up all your work before you run this because your PC will shut down. So I'm going to click on the scan now. I'm just going to stop the recording software for the desktop here and go to my camera so you can quickly see the uh, screen here. There we go. Click shut down. And uh, what will happen here is the PC will then sign out and shut down. And then what you'll get is the loading screen. Now I'll speed this part up because it does take a long time. So on the reboot, you'll basically get to your post screen and then you'll get the Windows Defender offline. This does take a bit of time so you may be stuck on this screen for a while. Once this is finished you will get a prompt box popping up like this and it will run a scan okay. Now I've cut that out because it does take a fair bit of time. Once the scan has finished it will boot up to your desktop and then you will be able to look at the scan results. So let me go back to my uh, capture software here so I can see uh, where the scan results are. So if you've done your scan, what you want to do is go into your settings, update and security, then go back into Windows security, then virus and threat protection. Once you're inside here, you should see protection history. This will show you all of your protection history and all of your scan results and stuff like that inside here. If you want to get uh, more log files and stuff like that, where you can actually look at the actual log file itself, uh, you want to go to this location. Let me quickly show you here how to get to that location. Go to Explorer here. So this will be File Explorer here. Go into here and then go into your C drive. You will see a translucent folder called Program Data. If you don't see this, then you need to show hidden files, folders and drives by going into your View and then Options, then View tab. And then you should see here, show hidden files, folders, and drives. Make sure the radio button's in there. And you should then see the program data. Inside here, you want to go down to where it says Microsoft. And then come down to where it says Windows Defender. Click in there. And then what you want to do is go down to where it says Support here. And you will see... Uh, log files in here. You can also see the scan folder in there as well and a bunch of other folders so you can have a little route around in here but this is where your uh, files will be for your definitions and your log files you can see here. So what I'm going to do is show you one more place just in case you want to learn something else. So I'm going to show you where you can get it in Event uh, Viewer. So let's go down to the bottom left hand side, right click on the Start button and then go to Event Viewer click on this this will open up the event viewer a lot of people don't go into event viewer but it has some really useful information and some really useful things inside here so what we want to do here is go over to the left where it says applications and services logs and that's what we want to do click on that it will take a bit of time to populate once that's populated we can then use the drop down arrow and go to Microsoft drop that down then go down to Windows and then drop that down again. Then we want to come all the way down here. So keep coming down. And then you should see. There we go. Windows Defender. Open that up. And you should see 
operational. Inside here, you'll get a bunch of log files which you can examine and look at, and this will be all your scan results and things like that. Let me just make this a little bit bigger here. There we go. So once you're inside here, you'll see that they're all listed by the event ID, and also you can see here the source and the date and time. So whatever time and date that you run that scan, this will help you break that down and be able to find it a lot more easier, okay? So just take note of the time that you run the scan and you should be able to find your log file very quick and easy. Now, when you click on these, these will open up in a little uh, area down below in a little pane and you can open up and double click on them and it opens up a little box here and you can get more details and stuff like that from there as well and it'll give you all the information. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. So I hope this one's been useful to you. That's how you can run an offline scan with Windows Defender. It's quite useful if you've got a troublesome malware on the system and you want to run an offline scan. Very useful and easy to do. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. If you've got any video requests or anything like that, leave them in the comments section below or join my Discord server and uh, post up your suggestions on there. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.